Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here. Today I want to share with you my first personal update video. During this video you're going to see some Team Slayer gameplay on Complex with some pretty decent snipes and overall good gameplay decision. And during this gameplay I want to create some sort of vlog. I currently do not have a camera with which I can videotape my own face and frankly I want to give you guys more Halo content to just watch while you're hearing this. This is a personal update video. I want to share a few key things about my life and how I work in general that will help you appreciate my content a little bit more. First thing I want to start out with, I'm 20 years old. Right? I live in Texas, United States, and I'm currently attending college. I am in my about to head into my third semester with literally the literally within the next three weeks. It's going to be pretty busy. Having said that, Halo content will still continue to come out on my channel. I have not forgot you guys. And I want to say a big thanks and shout out to people who have shared my channel, who have continued to support me. You guys are awesome. And thank you for watching my content and for commenting and helping me understand where, you know, oh, Genesis, you repeat yourself a little too much or, um, Genesis, I'd like to know more about this. Um, I promise you, if you comment and say, hey, I'd like to see a little more of this, or could you explain a little more how this happens? If it's actually the topic is explainable in a, in a deeper way, I will make a video on it for sure. Even if one or two people ask about it, I will try my best to answer and provide content that is directly related to what you want. I know a guy asked if I could do a video on the button layouts and I am working on it right now but let me share with you a little insight into why that video hasn't come out yet. I recorded the entire video and then I ended up deleting it the reason why is because I was not satisfied with it and this is how my brain works okay I realized that there were so many better ways to do the video it wasn't even funny while the video I created was worth uploading overall it was not the best I could do. I could do better than that. Specifically, I could let you see my controller, the controller in my hands. I could edit that video of you watching me play with my controller in my hands while you're watching the gameplay. So you could see firsthand exactly what I'm talking about when I describe things like bumper jumper or being able to jump while aiming. I can show you with my hands in the in the little side video on the side of the screen what exactly what I mean. I'm also working on being able to put my face into the corner of the video so you guys can see me while I'm talking. All right, this would be useful just to see the emotional reaction, and I know a lot of top commentators do that with their videos and. I also apologize for not being able to stream live on Twitch.tv as much because my upload speed is absolute crud. I also want to mention here that you may have noticed I don't curse in any of my videos. That's sort of a personal preference and I won't get into it, but I want to tell you guys that while I personally don't curse, I cannot, you know, be accountable for the content of what other people say. Right? I don't necessarily approve of it, but I'm not going to give you a hard time if you use language. I don't discriminate, discriminate against people that way. It's not in my nature. I think it's very uh, narrow-minded and biased, to put it mildly. It's not cool to judge other people simply by what they say. I think um, we should be more mature than that. And I'm trying to be that person you guys to see that. That's been my policy for a while you're only now just hearing about it, even though you've seen the evidence all along. There's a lot of things like that I want to share in my personal videos, and I may not get to all of them in this one week. I'm going back to college, guys. College guy, college takes money. College takes a decent amount of time. While I have held several jobs in the past, I am currently unemployed and need to find a job. It's very critical to just why the well-being of my terrible decision making my part right here. I should have been staying behind cover. But anyway, college is a big ordeal. And while it can be fun and a worthwhile experience overall, which is what I'm hoping for, um, it's time consuming. And I want to let you guys know that while 
I will be trying my best to make videos in the future. Please have mercy and grace on me during this very difficult time. Please do not think that I don't care about you guys and that, oh, you know, I, I'm forgetting you guys and oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I know you're there every day that goes by. I wish I could have uploaded something, but I'm working on it, refining it, making it better. I have constantly ideas that I write down, type down on my computer. I have a folder of video ideas inside Halo 4 mostly, but several outside Halo 4. How to drink a monster, all right? Just a video that may be coming up in the future. How my mind works, because a lot of people don't seem to understand that not, I'm not necessarily a perfectionist or a clean freak, but I'm very precision and one-track minded. And when I get an idea, I stick with it till the end. And I make it as good as it can be. Sometimes to the detriment of other people because it takes a while to do that. Right? It takes a lot of time and effort. But I think the end result is worthwhile, and I hope that you guys will agree. Collecting my thoughts here. Again, I didn't script this video. These vlogs or personal videos will not be scripted in any shape, form, or fashion. Aha! One of the things I wanted to mention, the June 3rd update, which was several months ago, modified Halo 4's loadout weapons to be much, much more balanced, adding the 4-shot VR, increasing the damage of um, all the loadout machine gun rifles, and many other small, but overall, when compacted, significant changes to Halo 4 matchmaking. A lot of the gameplays I have saved to my hard drive are before the update was actually released. So in the theater, in the gameplay you see in the theater, is that this right now, what you are watching is unupdated gameplay. In the current Halo 4 Spectrum things, the DMR does not have that reticle range. You can still fire at that range if you're accurate, but it doesn't have the sticky reticle effect that it did have. With the update, it's been reduced, thankfully, okay, because it was way too far at, to begin with. So a lot of the video gameplay I captured was before the update came out. This means that while I want to share up-to-date content with you, what it means is I need to play the game more to capture this up-to-date, updated gameplay content so I can show it to you guys. So guys, this has been my first personal vlog. I'm out of time here. Hope this has helped you understand some insight behind some of the things I've been trying to do and some of the things that I will intend to do in the future. I have not forgotten you guys. It's just going to be a busy, busy next few months. Please support. Please like the video. Subscribe. Share my channel. Thank you for doing that as you guys already have. And I will see you on the next video or whatever I end up capturing. Peace, guys.